Well, we hope you've been able to enjoy the nice weather outside, but maybe you've also been noticing the allergies are creeping in. Yeah, you might want to stock up on those mm -hmm. tissues and allergy meds because doctors say that allergy season is only getting yeah. longer. Mary McGuire joins us live. Mary, first of all, welcome back. Yeah. Your first night back from maternity leave. We're so glad you're here. <laughs> uh, this warmer weather, though, Mary, coming at a cost for some. Oh, it certainly is. And I think uh, we had some warmer weather in honor of my return. At least I like to think of it that way. Um, forget spring. It really felt like the dead of summer outside today. But with those warmer temperatures, of course, come sniffles and sneezes for many. It's great. It's like summer fell on my day off. After a winter that tested even the toughest Minnesotans, 80 degrees and sunny never felt so good. Gosh, I didn't think it was ever going to end. It was so nice out, Chad Benke made the great outdoors his office. We're finally seeing all the snow melting and it's just being out here and enjoying this, it's way, way overdue. But as the snow starts to melt, allergy symptoms will start to flare up for many. Pollen.com shows much of Minnesota in the high status for allergens. But I think it's the calm before the storm. Allergist Dr. Pramod Kelkar has already seen patients who are complaining of itchy, watery eyes and runny noses. He expects things to get worse in the coming days. The snow melts and then the dampness creates more mold and that mold can cause same symptoms as tree pollens. Dr. Kelkar says warming global temperatures are impacting pollen counts, making allergy season stretch longer. We are seeing the allergy season extended by one month at each end. But if over-the-counter antihistamines aren't working for you, you don't have to suffer. Now the first thing I always tell patients who have allergies is don't deny yourself the pleasure of outdoors. There's a whole host of remedies professionals can provide, like allergen immunotherapy that can give greater relief as the pollen continues to spread. Now there are some more at-home solutions that you can try like sinus rinses and also changing your clothes and showering if you are outside to make sure that all of that pollen gets off of you. Reporting live tonight, Mary McGuire, Fox 9. All right, Mary, thank you. <laughs>